Hi, Bob McLeod here for TNT Tips. In this video, I am introducing TNT Connect 3.1. Now, the quick snapshot of TNT 3.1 is that TNT MPD has a new name. It works with Windows 10, it works with Mac El Capitan and has major Mac improvements. It resolves the Google login and Google Maps errors. It has a major new feature, multiple currency support, and it has more than 70 other minor new features or fixes. So the big news is that TNT MPD is now called TNT Connect. And the reason is TNT was developed by Troy Wolbrink, who was on staff with Campus Crusade for Christ, which is now known as Crew in the US. And Crew's term for the support raising process is Ministry Partner Development, or MPD. And so he built it just to be Troy and Tammy's MPD software. But it was so helpful that it began to spread through other Campus Crusade ministries throughout the world, and then the Navigators, and also hundreds of other ministries. Now it's used by more than 12,000 missionaries in over 500 organizations. And many of those organizations do not use the term MPD to describe their support raising process. Because of the broad kingdom value of this tool, about two years ago, Troy felt led by the Lord to leave Campus Crusade for Christ and start an independent ministry so that he could focus his full effort on this software and its related tools. And because MPD is a Campus Crusade specific term, it seemed like a good time to uh, change the name that would be more broadly applicable. So TNT is what it's called mostly by users and Connect is what it helps you do with your supporters. And so TNT Connect is the new name. What you may not know is that in addition to TNT, over the last 15 years, Troy has also built several ministry specific tools that help ministries process donations and deliver that information to their missionaries over the web. And so if your ministry has needs in this area, I'd encourage you to have them contact Troy at TNTWare.com. So what's new in TNT Connect 3.1? Well, the biggest new feature is multiple currency support. Now, as I said, TNT is used by more than 500 ministries and thousands of those missionaries receive gifts in more than one currency. Well, because TNT doesn't know what your currency is, not having asked that question in the past, each person is going to be asked one time to identify their currency that they may be using, and then you can add any other currencies, and it's going to provide color coding based on each currency. And there's a number of different places in TNT where multi-currency will be displayed if you have more than one currency. If you don't have more than one currency, you won't even notice the difference. The most important places where you'll see this impact is on the TNT tab, as it's now called. And here you'll be able to select the currency that the donor normally gives in, and the gift list will now actually display the currency. And then the giving chart in the center, when the current group button is pressed, will display in the currency you select. Now, some other things about this upgrade, the most important of which isn't a new feature, it's actually a missing feature, and that is the database password has been eliminated. This password has proven to be rather problematic for a lot of users. Now, database security is important, but a password on TNT actually created a false sense of security because all of the data that's in TNT can be exported to your hard drive where it's not password protected. And most staff members can download all of their donor information from their ministry staff web or any other software they might be using onto their hard drive where it's not protected by that database password. And so it's more important that your entire laptop be encrypted than just this one password. As I mentioned, there's a significant improvement in the Mac experience. Troy has spent hundreds of hours over the past year improving the quality of the Mac experience. Now it's gonna look and feel the same, but it's gonna be more reliable on its startup and shut down faster perform better, and it works better with full screen and multiple monitors, which of course is becoming more common. It also integrates better with Max Finder. Another great new feature is that in light of all this new technology, this has created some issues. High resolution laptops and monitors can make the TNT screen rather small. So now in the options, you can enlarge the screen up to 200%. So here's an example of TNT on my Microsoft Surface. It was getting to the point where it's so small, I couldn't see it and I actually had to change the resolution of my whole screen to, to make it better. And so that problem is resolved through this feature that allows you uh, four different options to size it. Now, there, as I said, there are also 70 other minor fixes and features, but I did want to point you in the direction of some new help resources. The most significant one is a great new video training series called Smart Path. And you can download the free app on your iPhone or Android phone. Smart Path, again, is the name of the app. And it's produced by a company named Smart Story Technologies, which is partnering with us to make this possible. And when you download the app, you just need to enter our smart code, which is GO TNT Tips. 
Go TNT Tips. This video series is what I call a tip of the week. You can subscribe to receive one of the tips every week or every day or whatever you'd like. And every one of those 53 videos is under three minutes. You can also go right to the Smart Path webpage, which is smartpath.smartstory.com and pick from any of the videos that you want to see. Another help tool that's been around for a long time, but I want to encourage you to try if you've not already, is what I call the magic help button. And this is the F1 key. When you're using TNT, every screen has a help topic specifically related to that screen. And so wherever you are, whatever field you're in, if you press F1, you're going to get help for that specific topic. There are more than 150 helpful short articles and many of them are step-by-step -step instructions. You can also check out the TNT Connect Facebook page where you can get news and updates. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.